Hello, hello, and welcome to Ascended Stars Glass Heart Divination. My absolute pleasure to be with you here today. Allie Jade, bring it, bringing it to you every month. Um, yeah, speaking of every month, last month was quite a doozy. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling quite jazzed up and excited that I am back online. Um, back to my feisty, fun, lighthearted self in the Aquarian energy. I love it. Uh, Capricorn's heavy. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to do this uh, reading. It's going to change. It's going to, it's changing up, guys. I, I get bored, you know? So I have to change it up. And um, so I'm doing like an esoteric spread here at the beginning, kind of giving us more of the energies of what the month has. And then I'm going to do a, a week by week um, mini spread. Okay. So it's working out pretty good. I'm getting these out. Um, things are working out. Let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to do, oh, I already did Scorpio. I can't do Scorpio twice. Actually, I have all the astrological info on my Scorpio video, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hook it up, but that's why I'm making these short and sweet, because um, it took 15 minutes to get into the astro astrological forecast of everything that's happening in this month of February so much. We're having an eclipse, a couple eclipses, and I, um, it, just, it just really uh, takes so much energy. So if I could just do a one video and then connect it. But of course, I haven't been savvy enough to do that, figure it out. But I'm determined this month to figure it out. Okay, so who are we going to do? Virgo. Funny enough, I've already done the Virgo cat forecast too. Oh my goodness. Sorry about this, guys. All right. Who we? Oh, that one. That one's next. Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're in the money. Okay, Cappy Caps. Hope everything's good with you guys. Um, this retrograde was a doozy. And the last couple of years we've been having retrogrades in December. They're just no fun, are they? Dang, December retrogrades. Okay. Um, okay, so if this does not resonate, please do uh, reach out to me. Ascendastars at gmail.com. I can give you your own personal reading. But also check your ascendant, your sun, and your moon to um maybe messages will uh, uh, resonate with you more as we get older we get more towards our ascendant sign so that's why it's quite important to know all right let's see here capricorn let me just um get them all up let's see what we got february 2000 17 okay um huh. okay so we have a fire energy here um kind of a theme venus is in uh aries now goddess of love with the warrior aries energy and you guys are coming out you know with a bang here um you have a lot of enthusiasm a lot of um passion desire um and strength behind this now you also have like a new um a new thought a new a new uh a lot of newness coming <laughs> let me put it to you that way um enlightenment of the way of looking at life it seems like this energy the retrograde energy really helped kind of reform your thoughts and now you're thinking about things in a different way matter which is great and you're going for it you are um refusing to be held back you are passionate you're going to explore you're going to adventure and you're going to just check things out. You're not going to be stagnant. That is the last thing I see in this spread. Um, it looks like you're going to disconnect uh, perhaps because you're more on a spiritual path at this time. With the fire element, it's about beliefs and passion and spirituality. So you might be more inclined to maybe disconnect from 
people who haven't been, who are not on that journey, who, who are not going to benefit you in a spiritual sense. Um, now, in the middle of your spread, though, there is an unstable, um, unstable state of emotions within you. Um, and I think it's like an underlying current, but it's like right in the middle of your spread. Um, the themes that go with that are jealousy, deceit, infidelity, and um, unstable emotions. So your motivation, you might want to look at your motivation at this time, you know, um, you might want to check out why you get jealous, why you have deceit, and, and why you have had infidelity issues in the past either you or your partner um be careful here with having spent too much money wastefulness um untrust maybe having trusted people who are really not not uh have earned your trust because um, you're such a stable, you know, sign. Maybe your judge of character is a little off. Like you're realizing that, you know, you need to really pay attention to people's character a little bit more. Now, like I said, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but that's what I get. Um, you, you're in your unconscious. You know your spiritual thoughts. You know right from wrong. Um, you know how to make money on a good way, you know, transparent way, not underhanded way. Um, and, and, um, and, and it, I do get here, keep your ego in check. Okay. Your ego is not your amigo. Um, so yeah, you know, this is just an esoteric energetic reading. I'm just blasting it out there and then we're going to do the week by week and it may hit some people and may completely be a miss for others. So um, that's what I got. So now we're going to do the week by week play and see what we got there. February 2017 for my cap caps. It's no fun. You know, Pluto is in your sign causing a lot of death and transformation week one week two week three and four it's also forcing you since you're ruled by saturn it's also forcing you to uh, shed light on maybe old ways that don't work no more and you have held on to them um and you've come into them You've come into them through your lineage, okay? Um, through your upbringing, through experiences you've had. You've chosen to hold on to certain beliefs and false truths. And, and Pluto comes in and, and forces you to kill those false truths, those false beliefs. Um, and, and kind of puts your face at it, like, time to go. So... Um, Okay, uh, acting from your lower child self. Okay, I really get you guys are, are grasping at things this month. Um, it's worked for you and you're, you're, you're cunning enough and uh, smart enough to, to fool people, but you'll never fool yourself for the universe, okay? All right, I don't know where, I'm just telling you what I get, what I feel. It's like a heaviness on my chest. It's like um, a burden. It's like um, like a, uh, almost a desperation. It's weird. Okay, week one. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. Uh, feeling left out. I often refer to this card as the poor me card. Um, it, yeah, you know, coming out of the gate, out of that retrograde in Capricorn, that was no fun. I mean, I can tell you, it hit my financial um, sector big time. But my um, 
true belief, you know, a single mom raising a child now 18, still my child, but um, they never stopped growing and all on my own financially, huge burden. Now, this is not woe is me, you know, giving you a little side note. But I, you know, even when I was like down and out on my pennies, I still always told myself, you know, God has never let me down. God has always provided for me in the past and he will. So it's about keeping your spirits up. You know, if the guy just, if, if this, if this uh, man would just look up and see, hey, this is a church, we can go in there and get some hot soup and, and hot cocoa to keep us warm for the night. You know, that's all we need just right now because tomorrow's a new day and tomorrow and the next day is a new day. Um, don't be in this uh, hamster wheel of like poor me and, you know, they have more than I have and I deserve more and I work more. It's just then that's really the energy I was picking up on, too. So, um it, this is not about poor me. It's about f faith because this card represents a church. So it's about remaining in faith. Faith you can't touch, feel, or um, hear <laughs> unless you're walking by a, a chorus. But um, it's something that is innate and you have to learn to uh, exercise your muscle of faith. OK, um, things are going to get better. They're going to seem worse, but they're going to get better. Wow, you got this twice. And on the bottom one, you got five of pentacles, your advice. Interesting. So um, heavy energy. I was picking up on it before I even I even lifted the card. Um, this energy could drive you to steal. It could drive you to, you know, have the infidelity with somebody because they're offering you something and it looks good, but, you know, you're never going to have, it could be a married person that they're not going to treat you like their wife. They're just going to use you. So this is, this is dark energy. Okay. So, um, remain faithful. Okay. Remain positive. God's not going to put you down, let you down. Um, you are a child of God. So keep maybe ask others for help maybe your pride is stopping you from asking others for help reach out for um more than anything i think you need like a moral um uh companionship you know spirituality um you, you know you guys do represent the devil in in, in the tarot so um that basically is your own vices not knowing yourself um you're going to get tripped up by you being in a place of lack instead of in a place of abundance um you know the other day i don't know i was having a conversation with my son again and and oh he okay well he wants something i'm like what do you want now every time he comes and talks to me what do you want now oh he goes i'm trying to communicate and i just i don't know somehow i said you know what my life is perfect and he goes your life is perfect and i said yeah my life is perfect right now and nobody ever talks in these words but i really in that moment i felt it because um good things i feel good things coming so you have to get in that place of feeling that the good things are coming to you um not taking from another, not yearning for another, not coveting other people's things. Um, what is yours is yours. You know, my mom, she was a great, she could have been Carolina Herrera if she just would have followed her creativity, but she didn't. Um, she was always quite avant-garde with her fashion. And she taught me one thing. She's never been a copier. She's never wanted to copy or be like somebody else. And, um, it's interesting because what's for you is for you. Okay. No one's going to come and take it. You know, it, it's, it's yours. It's yours for the taking. So, um, give time, time, be patient and, and don't, don't let, um, that retrograde energy is gone. I know you guys feel it. Okay. Uh, the Capricorn energy is gone. So, Please immerse yourself in this nice, crisp, clean air of Aquarius um, ingenuity, new ideas, community, um, 
out of the box thinking, okay? That's what we got to focus on. Okay, week two, Knight of Wands, okay? It's a fiery element again, and um, he's very creative. He's very passionate, very passionate. So much so, he thinks he can have like five or six women at one time. But um, usually he can. He's like the bee that goes and, and you know, takes the nectar from all the flowers but he's just having fun he's exploring so this is week two you're going to come out of this dark energy and you're going to go explore and you're going to go and learn and have fun you're going to have more um uh light-heartedness about you absolutely ten of cups okay so if for the for my females it could be also an aquarius excuse me a sagittarius a leo or aries who um February 14th, you know, that week comes comes into play and woos you and you have fun. There's The thing about the, the Knight of Wands is they have fun. They know how to have fun. Everyone loves when they're around and they're the life of the party and they suck up all the center light, the limelight. And that's the way they like it. Um, so they're fun, okay? <sighs> Tend to be funny charismatic um so you might be implementing some of that or someone like that will be coming into your life lightening your heart and make and giving you full contentment you'll have a full contentment there okay wonderful you know and sometimes from the darkness comes the light and that's what we need and then week three oh you're coming up in your own reading the devil major arcana so you're there's a, a component here of um being attached to something unhealthy, um, not knowing yourself, something that pops up that you did that you're like, whoa, that wasn't me. Yeah, I was you. Um, and and um, it could have to do with anger. It could have to do, you know, some kind of out of control anger. Um, it could have anything to do with any vice, you know, drinking sex, um, overeating, Western medicines, pharmaceutical medicines. Um, anything of that nature okay uh you're gonna be i think it's gonna come to your i really think it's gonna come more to your um consciousness because this 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 new energy that we're in in 2017 is not very conducive to drugs um it's it's clean or die you know it really is clean up or die queen of swords oh my goodness it could mean a divorce. It could mean, a she does represent a divorce. She represents the woman who's been scorned, who's gone through a lot of things, who's separated, who um, has a lot of wisdom because she's gone through a lot of things. So um, she also speaks her truth. She doesn't hold back. She does tell you exactly what she feels. Um, Maybe it's time to cut ties with someone that is too karmically, that, that, that lesson's done, okay? That lesson's done, and you have to cut it off um, the third week, right after Valentine's. You do it after Valentine's. You're like, I'm not going to do it before Valentine's. You know, I want a present or whatever, and you do it after Valentine's. Oh, then I'll cut them off. Very much like a Capricorn, very smart way of going about it. Um... This could be being left out too, like you find out someone's cheating on you and you're left out. I kind of get that vibe. Uh, okay, another major arcana, the star. The star. So once you get through this week three and this heavy, dark energy, and this is kind of a theme. Week one, heavy, then it's light and fluffy with fiery energy. Then week three, it's heavy, then it's light and fluffy with um light air energy emotional balance um we have to get through the dark to find the light uh a lot of major playing energy for the month of february for many of the signs it's a oh, wow again both of these are bull, are ruled by uranus the star and the tower so something fast and quick is going to happen um lightning fast ideas 
Um, the stars are going to shine on you. You're going to be on the spotlight now after being felt like you're out, down and out. You push yourself. You go for your passion. Um, you uh, could be a very masculine figure you connect with too in week three. Um, could be your father that helps you, an uncle that helps you, gives you a hand up. Um, could be a woman that's very masculine in her ways that decides to cut you a break, um, to put you in her, her, her company or get you somewhere to go to a company. Then you come and you shine. Um, you're happy there. And this fat happens quite quickly, quite fast. Or you get some downloads, some uh, really uh, very positive downloads, uh, the internet information, um, communications, um, quick, fast, lightning um, ideas that make you get into this headspace, ingeniousness, make you flourish, make you look good. Wow. Heavy, heavy energies, man. From one week to the next, you guys take your vitamins. Take your vitamins. All I got to say is you guys got really quick stuff happening. Um, I, it looks like once the Mercury has kicked in and gone in, uh, all, all planets to go, okay? We do have this window of time. From now, the end of January until February 6th, all planets are go. Then Jupiter goes into retrograde. And um, the eclipse hit, hits on Leo. So, wow. Have fun. Have fun with it. Write it out, guys. I can't wait to see what the comments are on this. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.